let's chop it up. Been a lot of things going on since August of last year. Hustlerskungfu.com and a few other experiments that I had. Well, the lab is closed. We've got our stuff, we've got our numbers. So these are the programs, for those who don't know, real quickly. Hustlerskungfu.com, most of the stuff there is free. Well, you want your free 19 business courses, go there. New platform. I was gonna do hustlerskungfudojo.com. Then I thought about it. Let's go bigger. Let's go a little deeper. So it is IncomeDojo.com. Essentially, that's what people come to this channel for. How do I make income? How do I make more income? That's the basic question, the basic query. So, IncomeDojo.com. I've broken up some things. I think the Facebook thing was really a great thing to happen because it forced me to confront some things and deal with some things. There's some people who had a problem with Facebook, couldn't do Facebook, couldn't get on, had issues where I had to make the group secret, call, uh, just a bunch of crap, just a bunch of crap. Well, with IncomeDojo.com and the separate groups and things that I have, we don't have that problem. Now the groups are gonna be premium seller, which was the idea of selling big ticket, high-end products. That's going to be a separate group. It's going to be premium service business scaling. There's something, there's this business model that I've created that I'm going to teach that there, where if you have a service business, how you can create additional money, income, scale, using the same backbone something I've done several times from a physical product standpoint to a information product standpoint so it's proven and then after that there will be digital citizen I'm a digital citizen for the last since 2009 I started but really yeah since 2009 I've made all income for the family business online pure digital citizen and that space, I'm going to teach people how to do that. Now, this will not be one of those, you take a six-module course or a several-module. I can't condense what I've learned in the last eight years down into some few courses. It's just, I can't. It's just not, it's just not going to happen. So, it's going to be one-on-one -on -one training. It's going to be the, the big course one-on-one -on -one training mentoring and I can only handle so many people at scale and I'm going to get that together and write it all up because this is going to launch soon it's going to launch very very soon now to backtrack a little bit what you're going to get with this new income dojo is a lot of what I have done or what I do are things that I have my customers doing. It's be real time stuff. And it's gonna be 99 bucks a month for a premium seller, like how to sell big ticket stuff. It's gonna be $500 a month on how to do premium service business scaling. And it's gonna be $2,000 a month for Digital Citizen. Now, Digital Citizen will include the video component because that's what I know. I have eight years of video experience. I have eight years of making money with video. You know, at one point, I mean, if you go to my Facebook page, I have 2,000 likes, I think. I have put no interest in that. You go to my Twitter, mm, nothing going on there. Uh, Instagram, I put a little bit more effort in that. Uh, I will continue to do that. I was on the Snapchat bandwagon, but and the stories and it's I, it, I, it's like still I still have a mixed opinion about that. But I'm a hundred percent 
sold on video. I know what it's done for my life. I know what it's done for me personally. And it's something that I am looking very forward to teaching a few individuals how to do my way. Just to set that up. Because one of the things about this information, this training, this mentoring, once you get it, you can make thousands, hundreds of thousands, or millions. This is something that will take you to the rest of your life. Video is going to represent 85% of online content before 2025. It's going to be everywhere. So those who learn how to master it, those who know how to natively deploy it, who understand it, how to create it, there's just going to be so many ways to make money with video if you have the skill sets. It's going to be sick. Okay, that was hilarious. As I was saying before my equipment just failed and this thing broke apart, that the opportunities for video production, video scripting, video hosting, video deployment, storyline, it's just gonna be sick. I mean, it's just, I mean, I do a lot of it already when I did the first set of videos I was telling stories storage auction business people were going from that that hind brain that hind brain was just getting tickled all I mean just tickled under his belly because people connect with stories and traditional marketing doesn't work the way it used to email marketing isn't working as well as it used to but a good story never gets old ever you can watch movies from the 30s the 40s the 50s and if they're really well done they're still entertaining 70 80 not they're still entertaining today decades later because a good story never gets old and that's the epitome of becoming a digital citizen there will not be any of this um, crazy stuff on how to gank Google or how to do, no. It's about creating a platform, having a strategy and a plan. Because once again, I've been here eight years. How many people have you seen come and go in the last eight years in the world of internet marketing? Can't count that high. Because that's that low hanging fruit that's looking for the easy stuff there is this presumption that having a five-year plan is dangerous I think not having a five-year plan not having a big goal not having something to chase after is really dangerous and that's how many many people operate well I don't have a five-year plan I'm just kind of winging it winging it works for only so long I was winging it until 2012 I had killer passive income, killer, I mean, it was automatic. I feel proud, I feel privileged that I had the time to take my business partner to her cancer appointments because I had nothing else to do. I was wide open. I was able to be of service to a friend and I really enjoyed that. That's just one of the components of becoming a digital citizen. You can develop passive income now unless you do it on a major level, and I'm gonna do another video strictly about passive income and to dispel some myths. But you can, if you do it right. And I'm talking about long-term passive income. But I'll, that, the, like I said, it needs its own video for people to fully understand that. But that's the genesis of Digital Citizen and the new platform. I will be, uh, these rates that I posted, those are launch rates, this opening, that's beta. That's the beta stuff. And for those who signed up for premium sellers, you're gonna hit that middle tier. So if you signed up for premium sellers at the $99 mark, you're, you're in. You're gonna get the service business and you're gonna get how to sell big. So that's actually two memberships you'll be able to get for one money. 
And for anyone new, walking through the door, it's 500 bucks a month. And, or it's $99 a month for how to sell big. And it's $2,000 a month for digital citizen. And I know a lot of people, oh, good, good Lord, 2,000 a month. I don't make $2,000 a month. And I understand that. And I'm gonna tell you a little story. There was a point in my life where I didn't make $2,000 in two months. That was 1997, 98, and tail end of 99. I didn't make a lot of money. Didn't have a car, was riding Martha, living in a boarding house. You know, uh, a good a good gig was black and white. And for those of you who never did the labor pool, black and white is when you wear your black pants, white shirt, and you act as a server, or you get to bust dishes, or maybe just stand at the door and greet people. That was a good gig, because you were clean. That's how fucking low my expectations were for myself. Not to say that if that's what you're doing, that you're a bad person. It's to say that that should be a launch point or a part of your journey. It shouldn't be your journey nor the end point. And I was in that space for far too long. So I didn't make that 2000 a month. Now I went from that, no special privileges, no family connections of parents, didn't leave me shit, didn't give me anything. Actually, uh, there was a period of time where when I should have been going out pursuing my life as a young man I actually was supporting a family of three people for years so when I hear this stuff I don't have 2,000 I understand that the question is how long do you want to stay in that space where anytime somebody presents something to you that you want or like or you know you you feel that would be beneficial that it's like I don't have it how long are you gonna stay in that space? Because it's on you to get out of that space. I was in that space. I was in, honestly, I'm gonna say this. I think some of you, your life's too fucking good for you to achieve more because you're too damn comfortable. And if that is your whole presumption of cost and, you know, it's funny. A guy who, every time I send an email about the price increases, he would just send the number with a question mark and then when I had these positions for moderators, he actually applied. <laughs> I'm like, really? You're applying? Why? You've been shitting on what I've been doing. Why would I hire you? It makes no sense. But I digress. Essentially, we're going to do some really big things. And once again, I understand I can't save everybody. I can't really save no one. It's incumbent on you to save yourself. But if I can take... 30 people on the business side and make them to the point where they're doing 2 million or more a year and then I take another group of people and turn them into digital citizens maybe because you know it's, it's only going to be a handful in the beginning because I can only talk to so many people on the phone and mentor and look at stuff because um, I'm going to give you a full breakdown on the landing page of what you get with digital citizen when I'm thinking 30 and 30 or 30 and 40 or 30 and 50 a lot depends upon how good this assistant that I'm hiring is going to be and I'm interviewing right now and you have to be local before someone say hey hey, hey here's my no I need to be able to see you every day and unless you are already in Atlanta are you gonna move to Atlanta on your own dime we're, we're, there's no point in talking to you so that's it leave your comments below and uh, there's more to come.